This is me. And this is also me. So happy, so care carefree, so in love with the world, so in love with learning about the world, so in love with figuring out new things about the world, exploring, having new adventures, meeting new people, going new places, and overall just enjoying life. So why do I feel like as I got older, I started to feel less and less and less of those exciting emotions about life? Why is that? You know why that is, y'all? It's because I decided to stop being so carefree, stop being so adventurous, stop exploring, and I decided to let other people inside of my beautiful, carefully, carefree, exploring, adventurous bubble. Here I find myself again, time traveling only in my head. From Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. You guys may have noticed something a little bit different about this channel and that is the name of this channel is no longer BB Tequila and that's because BB Tequila has died. She is dead. She is no longer a person. She doesn't exist. Um, it's just not me anymore. I built up a character. A lot of people are going to be like, who is this? Why? But a lot of y'all are going to understand and that's what I appreciate. So if you guys are interested in joining me on this new journey, this new journey that is, I feel like a lot more relaxed. It's going to be a lot more carefree. It's going to be a lot less like jumping around all over the place and doing all type of different stuff. It's going to be a lot more relaxed, a lot more carefree. So if you guys are interested in joining this new journey, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love that and I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, you guys, today's video is going to be why I decided for right now to no longer have any friends. So let's get right into this video because it's important and I just want to tell you guys my experience of friendships, girlfriends, girl trips, girl brunches, girl travels, and I just kind of want to explain my side of why I just decided that friends were just not for me anymore excuse the background you guys i have had shopping going on i've been dressing up for church i've been dressing up to go out i've been dressing up for interviews and i did get a new job today so let me show you guys my uniform shirt <laughs> this is the shirt i'm a server at a barbecue restaurant this is the shirt it says i like pig butts and i cannot lie so I have started working as a server and I'm going to be cross training as a bartender. So it's kind of a life update in here. I did get a job, which I'm super, super excited about you guys, but that has nothing to do with this video. And if you guys want me to update you guys more on my job, what I'm going to be doing, what I got going on, just comment that down below and also what type of videos you guys want to see from me. But I think I know what type of videos I'm going to do. So Anyways, you guys, let me get into why I stopped deciding to have friends. So first and foremost, there have been a lot of events in my life. There have been a lot of reasons that I have decided to let go of friends. The main reason is because of the environments that I've been in and the places that I've been around. So when you hang out in a certain type of environment or you when you hang out with a certain type of people, it just can kind of automatically connect you with those people when you hang out around a certain type of people it can automatically connect you with those people it can automatically attract you to those people and sometimes you'll just automatically be associated with those people and you won't even realize like dang i'm associating myself with a crowd that i wouldn't even regularly or normally hang out with like i'm hanging out with people that i don't even really like like that but since i'm around them all the time like it's like okay we're gonna, we're gonna kick it or we're going to be around each other, but that is just not really the way to go about making friends. Like you really have to connect on a deeper level. A lot of the times when I had like friends, it was because they were like childhood friends. But I noticed when I got a little older, I wasn't really, it wasn't really childhood friends I was hanging around. It was more like people I had met at my club job 
or people I have met at like work and stuff. And a lot of people you meet at work are not there to make friends. A lot of people you meet at work are not there to connect. A lot of people you meet at work, are, it's more of like the money comes before the friendships, which I don't really like because for me, I've really always had the mentality that it's like, the happiest people don't serve themselves. The happiest people serve other people. The happiest people are givers. The happiest people give their time, their energy. The happiest people are the most genuine people. So that's why it's like when you meet people at your job, it's hard to be like, oh, yeah, this person is really genuine because obviously their their money comes before you. If something happens on the job between y'all, it's like the money obviously is going to come before you. Like they're not going to get fired for their friendship, if that makes sense. So um, it wasn't really any like major reasons or events that I decided to let go of friends. It was kind of like an accumulating thing that made me just be like, okay, yeah, no, we're going to put a pause because a lot of these friendships are very sus. A lot of these friendships are looking very iffy and a lot of these friendships are looking very sus. Really the shift with me deciding to let go of people. I had a major life change recently. I moved to Atlanta and then I ended up moving back to Virginia. The reason I ended up moving back to Virginia is because I genuinely was just not happy where I was. And I remember having this conversation with my family like probably like three or four weeks before I even decided to move to Virginia about why I wanted to move to Virginia. They were like, you just moved to Atlanta. Like, you have to really think about, is this? are you sure this is what you want? Like, if you had all the money in the world right now to take care of everything, would you stay or would you go? And genuinely, my answer was no. I would leave. Like, I'm not happy where I'm at. I'm not happy where I'm working. I'm not happy where I'm at. So one of the things that I really love about myself and my personality is that I am very, very, very... I very easily get up and move like I very easily get up and move if I'm not happy with a place if I'm not happy with a situation if I'm not happy with a job if I'm not happy with something I'm very easily able to say no I'm not happy like I'm very easily able to communicate with myself and realize and be conscious about the situation and be like no I'm not happy where I'm at like I'm really not happy where I'm at and so one of my major life changes recently was like moving away from Atlanta and moving away from a lot of the BS that was out there a lot of the people that was out there because I realized like it's not one person it's not one club it's not one um situation but it was an accumulation of things that just led me to say no I'm I'm really not happy right here right where I am it really wasn't anything other than the fact that I just was not happy and it's like I should not be listening to um Britney's opinion Stacia's opinion this person's opinion, that person's opinion. I should really do what is good for me and what's good for my life. So it was a major life change for me to say, like, I have to go. And with the life change came a lot of personal growth because I realized, okay, it really don't have nothing to do with anybody else. It really have to do with everything that you're going through and that you're going through with your kid and everything that you're sacrificing, everything that you're doing for your kid, if that makes sense. So Feel like with that I talked in circles a little bit but what I'm really trying to say is like with life changes with personal growth with shifts in my priorities it was a lot of different things that influenced me deciding okay yeah we're letting go of these friendships we're letting go of these friendships because their priorities are different than mine they might say their priorities are x y and z and then on the back burner you really realize that y'all priorities do not match or meet at all so that's why that's another reason that I really decided to let go of friends. And I'm not just talking about one friend because people are going to be come on here and be like, oh, she's talking about da, da, da. No, I'm not talking about one friend. I'm not talking about one situation. I'm talking about friends as a whole. My life has shifted in so many ways over the years. Like, I think people come on my channel and this is maybe the first time they've ever seen me. And they're like, oh, well, they've only seen this one event happening or they've only seen me in one scenario. And it's like, I have literally been not only on my journey but documenting my journey for a period of time over time and so there's been so many shifts in my life and so many changes in my life and it's like if people are not on the same page or if people some people are just there for a season if you know what I mean like you shift in your life so many times that some people are really just in your life for a season and it's like it's okay eventually you have to move on <laughs> So um, pretty much the decision of me deciding to let go of friends, I think really has been, even this these last few days has really been helping my mental health because 
I'm not listening to everybody's opinion anymore. Obviously, I have some really close family members and I have some really close people in my life that I trust their opinion. But even though I trust their opinion, I still sit back and I'm like, okay, well, I have to make the final opinion for myself. I have to make the final decisions for myself. So even though I will consult with other people, at the end of the day, the decision is my, is mine. Where I feel like at one point I was in a place where I felt like I needed to call up every single friend and be like, well, what do you think about this? What do you think I should do about this? And it's like, everybody's giving me so many different, all my friends are giving me so many different muddled opinions. Half of them I may agree with, half of them I may not agree with. But what it does is it adds confusion to what you really want and what you should really be doing. It really adds confusion. So letting go of friends has really affected my mental health for the better because now I'm not listening to he he say she say she say she say it's like what it quiets down the noise so I can really be like okay well what do I want what do I care about what are my priorities like so it's really affected my well-being in a good way and it's really affected my happiness in a good way because I feel like I can finally listen to myself like and it's not like anybody was holding me at gunpoint and be like, oh, you have to listen to me. But when you have friends or when you have people you surround yourself that you care about, obviously you want to ask their opinion. But that's why I decided to let go of those people. So um, the other thing, the next thing I wanted to talk about with the letting go of friendships is self-reflection. So over my journey and not just the journey that I've documented but literally the journey since I've been a child it's like I've had to always look back and I've had to realize where I played a part in a situation or realize where I had to learn and where I had to grow so self self I'm having trouble talking self reflection has really led me to evaluate my friendships a lot closer and a lot more so I've had a really bad habit in the past of allowing people to treat me a certain type of way for long periods of time without putting a stop to it or without saying, no, I can't do this anymore. I won't do this anymore. I won't accept this anymore. And that is not good. And that's where the self-reflection comes in because it's like sometimes you want a friendship to work out so bad. Or like with relationships, I've done this in relationships where I know the relationship is not good for me. It's toxic or it's going downhill. And I don't want to put a stop to it because I want it to work out so bad. I, I want to love this person so bad. I want to care for this person so bad. But I know that they keep doing me dirty and I know they keep doing me wrong. But when a self-reflection com part comes in, it's like, no, Jessica, you can't keep allowing, you can't keep being the pe people pleaser. You can't keep allowing people to treat you any type of ways because one, they're going to manipulate you. Two, they're, they know that you're going to let them treat you however they want to treat you. So they're going to continue to treat you like that because you train people to treat you the way that you want to be treated. Um, so one of my goals moving forward from this new um, this new change in my life of letting go of friends is really making sure that I consider all type of aspects of friendships when I get into a friendship with somebody. So compatibility, are we compatible as friends? Do our values align? Are our personal goals similar? Because if not, I don't really want any part of the friendship. If we don't have similar values, personal goals, morals, um, compatibility I don't want to be part of the friendship so with that it's like all of those aspects I'm considering in friendship so um and those things take time to figure out those things take a lot of time not just one week not just a couple of days of knowing somebody online not just a few parties that y'all go to together like it takes a long time to really be able to know if you're compatible with somebody if y'all will be able to get along because what I learned is that if you don't like discuss and consider all those aspects when you get into a friendship, it's going to end in a disaster because you're not going to agree on something or um, like it's just it's not going to work out. <laughs> Let me just say that. I think the importance of surrounding yourself with 
individuals who actually align with your values and your personal goals is that y'all will kind of always be on the same playing ground. Y'all will always kind of be on the same level. Like y'all will always kind of see eye to eye because you'll understand each other. You'll support each other better. And um, sometimes I feel like that takes time. Like, I feel like that takes time, but I feel like, like moving forward and realizing that I play a part in not doing my thorough, um, investigating when it comes to, um, vetting out people as friends is where I go wrong. And that's why I'm reflecting this. Like, okay, now when I move forward and I find friends, it's very important for me to find people who align with my values people who align with my morals people who align with my personal goals people who align with me like people who are compatible with me because you don't just let anybody and everybody come into your life and I was having a conversation with my mom the other day and she was saying like okay as a youtuber you are pretty much a business right so you have this business that you're running um and when you let people in your life, um, they are a reflection of you. They are a reflection of your business. They are a reflection of your brand. They are a reflection of who you are. And I've let all these people come into my life and I've let all these people be a part of my brand. I've let all these people come in and be a part of my business. And then they've shown how they care about me. They've shown how they care about my business. They've shown how they care about my brand. And it's like, you now you don't you don't get another chance <laughs> now you don't get a chance to be part of my business because i have to protect it and if i don't protect it if i just let trash in or if i just let any and everything in it's obviously going to reflect outward as far as who i am and people are going to be like oh this is who she is this is how she is and it's not even true most of it is not even true some of it is true but most of it's not even true so it's like you just don't let any and everybody especially if you've already seen how they treat other people or especially if you've already seen how they treat you you just don't let them affect that like because now y'all see how people are making me appear online or now y'all see how people are trying to make me appear to other people and it's affecting my brand it's affecting my business so now for me it's just important to make sure like I said that I am aligning with individuals who respect my values. I'm aligning with individuals who respect my business. And I'm aligning with people who I'm compatible with. Um, but for the most part right now, in my current life stage, I am just completely letting go of friends, period. Um, so the next thing I wanted to say is about how I am learning to set boundaries with people. Um... Like I said, I I have a pretty horrible habit of allowing people into my life and um, letting them treat me any type of ways and not saying a whole lot about it because I don't want the confrontation. Um, I will have forgiven them and because I just want to continue with the friendship or because I've been manipulated into thinking they're my only friend or they're the only support that I have. And so... A lot of people have come to me, a lot of my actual support have come to me and said, hey, we told you about this friend or we told you about that friend and you already knew how this was going to work out. And I have to admit, that's 100% true. A lot of times with me, I'll know, okay, maybe I necessarily shouldn't be hanging out with this person because they've already pooped in my cereal. But then I'll go and I'll be friends with them again because I'm scared of the confrontation. I'm nervous of confrontation. Um, I don't want to lose my support. I don't want to lose a friend. Um, and so now it's like, okay, I have to set boundaries with people where it's like, one, you are not going to be doing this. You're not going to be doing X, Y, and Z to me. And if you do do X, Y, and Z, it's a wrap. It's cut off. Or just setting up those morals beforehand where it's like if somebody comes into my life and they do X, Y, and Z, no, you're done. Um, so what's important for me now as far as setting boundaries is if somebody does come into my life who wants to be my friend or who wants to be around me or who cares about me or whatever, um, basically the role of setting boundaries is really going to be 
um, vetting out and making sure they don't cross the line when it comes to certain things. Um, I had a friend who um, just walked into my house one day and she just started recording me. Well, it wasn't even my house. It was me and my ex. And my ex, we were laying in bed and my ex went downstairs. My ex heard a knock on the door. So he went downstairs to open the door and my friend just walked in and like started recording me. And she was like, what are you doing? You need to get up. Like she just thought it was really cool to that I was on YouTube and she just felt like she needed to record everything, which is cool. But that's part of like the setting boundaries part. It's like, you can't really come into my space unless I invite you into my space. Um, you're not allowed to pull out a camera on me unless I invite you to make a video with me. You're not allowed to talk to me any type of way and just think that you're going to be able to talk to me a certain type of way. And when I mean talk to me any type of way, I don't mean just yelling at me or being mean straight up. I mean throwing shade. I mean saying little petty comments that may come off across as nice, but they're not actually nice. Like calling people out for certain stuff, like calling people out for being shady, calling people out for being petty. Um, those are not, those are not real, real friends. Like, um, so just certain stuff, like calling it out before it even gets to a point where you're uh, really allowed to disrespect me, if that makes sense. So, um, and yeah, there's been a lot of challenges and lessons that I've learned with setting boundaries. So that's going to be a major thing is like really setting boundaries as far as me being a person, because I have feelings too. I have rights too. Um, just because somebody may seem bigger, badder, more attractive, um, louder, doesn't mean that they have ownership over my life. Doesn't mean that they have ownership over what I do and doesn't mean they can talk to me or treat me any type of way. So setting boundaries for me is really important. And then, um, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, um, is really embracing solitude. Um, a lot of you guys know, well, and I said in this video, I recently moved back to Virginia. Um, when I first had my child, I was in solitude. So basically when I say in solitude, I didn't have any friends. I didn't talk to anybody. Um, I would take myself out to eat. I would take myself out shopping. I would spend a lot of time home. I would do a lot of self-care. I would spend a lot of time with my kid. And I really practiced a lot of solitude so that I was able to really enjoy, love, and appreciate being by myself. So since I learned the art of being in solitude and since I learned the art of being by myself, I really feel like I can go forth in my life and really just be alone and be in solitude. Um, there's so many positive aspects about being alone. There's so many positive aspects about being in solitude. Um, there's so many positive aspects about being comfortable with your own company it's the greatest feeling because you never feel like you need to call anybody you never feel like you need to call anybody to hang out you never feel like you need company if you're going out um if you don't learn how to be by yourself i feel like you cannot enjoy every single thing that life ha has to offer because you're always going to be looking for somebody do to do it with you you're always going to be looking for somebody to call and be like hey we should do this or hey do you think i should do this and so many benefits to being by yourself and enjoying your own company and like it's like there's so many benefits such as like self-discovery personal growth um being independent like there's so many aspects to being alone and being by yourself so conclusion i am going through this major life change um i'm really excited about it i just recently got a new job today um, that I'll be starting at some point this week and I'm surrounded by love I'm surrounded by support um, I went to church Sunday and I also went to church Monday because there's like a young adults group so it's like all the young women and all the young men like we all get together and we like go to church and stuff it's nice get to mix and mingle I didn't do much of the mixing and mingling yet part yet I just kind of did like the service but we'll get there we'll get there um I need to find me a good godly christian jim bro anyways so but we'll get there so um but that's not the main important thing um the main important thing is that i'm good y'all i'm happy i'm i'm feeling happy i'm feeling genuinely i'm feeling genuinely happy because instead of just saying like i want to be happy i want to be happy i want to be happy and chasing after material monetary things i'm finally saying okay well how can i make other people happy how can I volunteer how can I give back how can I 
give more to my son? How can I give more to my family? And that's genuinely making me feel fulfilled. That's genu genuinely making me feel happy instead of constantly just chasing the bag, chasing the bag, chasing the bag, getting the bag, spending the bag, chasing the bag, getting the bag, spending the bag, chasing the bag, getting the bag, spending the bag, chasing the bag, getting the bag, spending the bag. That was not making me happy. And I feel like the more people are like, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Are the people who are not actually genuinely happy. They're the people who are most of the time the most miserable. And the people who are most of the time giving back, genuinely helping others, volunteering are the people who are most happy. And that's what I'm mainly focused on right now is just seeing how I can be a part of a greater purpose and be a part of something bigger than myself. Okay, because... There's something that's bigger than me that I want to be a part of. And right now, or lately, recently, I've been on the hustle mode. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to have this. I got to have that. And those things never last. And that's like really been my journey. So, but also that stuff is not really part of this video. If you guys really want to if you guys really want to hear about the ways that I'm adjusting to this major life change, let me know in the comments and I will post another video for you guys. But I love you guys and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!